meteorologist Candace King. We have noticed a little bit more mugginess out there as we're starting to pull in a bit more moisture, not only from what is now Tropical Storm Laura, but also some moisture kind of pooling ahead of a cold front, which will eventually bring us some thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Current temperature right now at 91 degrees in Rockford. Our weather watcher Bob here in Rockford also checking in in the low 90s. No rainfall today as we continue with that dry condition. 93 degrees in Janesville, 88 in Freeport, and still at 90 degrees right now in Monroe. Our heat index earlier today made it up to 100 degrees, and tomorrow is also going to be another muggy afternoon. You've noticed a few more of those cumulus clouds popping up here this afternoon. That'll be the trend as we go through the rest of this evening underneath that partly cloudy sky, and even had a couple of showers pop up, and a few isolated thunderstorms here north of Rochelle, right around uh, Hillcrest, uh, moving through parts of DeKalb County. A few additional thunderstorms a little bit back further up to the north, but a few more th thunderstorms lining up along that actual front here uh, in Wisconsin. In fact, over the past couple of hours, you've really seen an upscale growth in a lot of that activity here uh, late this afternoon and evening. And that is where the bulk of that is going to stay as we go through this evening. So I'm just going to keep an isolated thunderstorm chance in the forecast for to, uh, this evening. Uh, most of us are going to stay dry and just on the muggy side. Now, there is a storm complex that is expected to develop over parts of the high plains late tonight, very early tomorrow. This is just before sunrise tomorrow morning at around 6, 630. This particular model keeps that complex up to the north. It's possible, but I do think we could see part of that uh, before sunrise tomorrow morning. There's a low risk for severe weather with that, but I am going to keep an isolated shower thunderstorm in the forecast during the morning hours and then more scattered activity as we work towards the noon hour. That front that is up to our north begins to shift southward during the late afternoon and evening, and you can see some thunderstorms lining up along that from parts of Wisconsin back into northeast Iowa. As that front continues to work southward, we should see those additional thunderstorms begin to develop. Again, future cast keeping the bulk of this down to the southwest. We're going to fill this in here as we get to about 6, 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. That front will then pass before midnight. Drier air comes in, and this will leave us fairly dry and comfortable as we head into the weekend. So the risk for stronger thunderstorms, or there have been a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings, will reside up mostly in Wisconsin. If we do see some storms late tonight, early tomorrow, there might be an occasional gusty wind. But that risk will increase tomorrow late afternoon and evening, an enhanced risk, so a three out of five on our scale, for all of southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. That risk for those storms, hail, strong damaging winds, and cannot rule out an isolated tornado, especially if we can get some individual storms to form during the afternoon or kind of a Boeing segment or a line of thunderstorms that may develop. But that activity in the afternoon or is going to depend on what exactly happens in the morning. If we don't see much activity in the morning, we've got a better chance for those storms to develop with that cold front. If we see a little bit more activity during the morning and late morning, that will gobble up a little bit more of that energy. Still rather muggy tonight, upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon. That heat index is going to be up too, so you're going to feel that mugginess more tomorrow just as that cold front comes through. 79 degrees on Saturday, 80 on Sunday, looking nice. We've got a couple chances for some showers and thunderstorms, guys, next week.